Hi, I'm Julie Jenjak, Vice President and Managing Director of Applied Insights at Harvard Funds. One of the questions that teams ask me most often is about team offsite meetings. Well, let me tell you, I am a huge advocate of them. Gathering the team at least once a year and getting offsite preferably, but even onsite in a conference room with a door shut, the key is minimizing distractions emails, phone calls, and other interruptions, but gathering around a table to really have open and honest conversations about what successes and challenges happened last year, talking about the business plan and the met metrics for this year, but most importantly, thinking about tactics and strategies for the upcoming year. How can you come together as a team, clarify roles and responsibilities, think about your communication plan, talk about all of the ways to enhance what you're doing from a marketing standpoint, from a business growth standpoint, and then ultimately celebrate successes. That's what it's all about. Thinking about how do you keep a tight team culture? How do you make sure that every team member feels valued? And then maybe cap off the day with a, a meal or a beverage and think about all of the ways in which you have locked arms throughout the year to deliver an amazing client experience. But at the end of the day, spending that time together to reflect, to plan, and then set goals for the future, that really is the most important thing. Now, if you've never done one before, visit hartfordfunds.com slash teams. We have put together Redefining Your Team Dynamic, and it's a sample team offsite agenda. Take those questions, modify them, uh, edit them, think about what your team needs most, scale them back, create an agenda that's meaningful to you. It has to be your agenda, not my agenda and not anyone else's, but make sure that you mark the time on the calendar, find the space, gather the team, and have those conversations. I can't tell you how powerful it is for teams that have shared with me that they have been doing this for years or even decades, and that it has become the team's most favorite and valued and valuable meeting of the year. So I encourage you to think about when your next team offsite meeting is, and if you don't have one, pull out the calendar, get it scheduled according to everyone's availability, and have those open, honest conversations.